What up, y'all? Xavier back again with another video, and I'm pretty sure some of y'all recognize this entrance theme music. Yeah, I decided to play this entrance music of this wrestler. Today is the 50th birthday of one of the best wrestlers from the Attitude Era and Ruthless Aggression Era. The Cerebral Assassin, the Chief Operating Officer of the WWE, the King of Kings, WWE Hall of Famer, the Game Triple H. Triple H was born Michael Paul Levesque. Triple H is a 14-time world champion. He's a nine-time WWF slash WWE champion. A five-time Intercontinental champion. A five-time world heavyweight champion. A two-time European champion. A two-time tag team champion. He won the 1997 King of the Ring. He's a two-time Royal Rumble winner in 2002 and 2016. He's a seventh triple crown champion, a second grand slam champion, and a three time slammy award winner. Triple H started his wrestling career in early 1992. In early 1994, he signed a one-year contract with WCW. In his first televised match, Triple H debuted as a villain named Terror Rising, defeating Keith Cole. However, Triple H left WCW in January 1995 after WCW turned down his request to be promoted as a singles competitor. He's been with the WWF slash WWE since 1995. He went by the name Hunter Hearst Helmsley, later Triple H. Triple H in 1997 formed a group called D-Generation X along with the New Age Outlaws, the Late China, Shawn Michaels, and X-Pac. What I like about D-Generation X is, 
I like how they was going up against WCW in the Attitude Era during the Monday Night Wars. Triple H definitely had a lot of feuds with some of the other wrestlers of the Attitude Era, such as Kurt Angle, The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Chris Jericho. Triple H was involved in several WrestleMania matches. One of my favorite WrestleMania matches that he was involved in was, of course, he won the WWF Championship against The Rock at WrestleMania, or he retained his title against The Rock at WrestleMania 2000, thanks to Vince McMahon, his father-in-law, turning his back on The Rock and allying with Triple H. And you know, before they became the authority, Triple H and the McMahon family was known as the McMahon-Helmsley era, or the McMahon-Helmsley faction. That was their original name. I miss when it was called the McMahon-Helmsley faction. By January 2000, Triple H had dubbed himself as the game, implying that he was one of the top of the wrestling world and was nicknamed the Cerebral Assassin. I also liked his match at WrestleMania 17 here in Houston at the old Astrodome against The Undertaker, which Triple H lost. The night after WrestleMania, after beating the hell out of The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H came up with the tag team, the two-man power trip. Sadly, that tag team lasted for a month after Triple H suffered a torn quad muscle after losing the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championship to Chris Jericho and Chris Benoit, which put him out of action for the rest of 2001 to cause him to miss the invasion storyline between the WWF and WCW slash ECW, then known as the Alliance. He returned to the company on the first Monday Night Raw of 2002 and announced that he was going to be participating in the 2002 Royal Rumble in which he won and went on to WrestleMania and defeated Chris Jericho for the Undisputed Championship. In 2003, Triple H formed a group called Evolution with the Nature Boy Ric Flair, the Viper Randy Orton, and the animal Batista. So, my thoughts about Triple H being 50. Yeah, he is getting old. He's another celebrity that has now joined the 50s club, who's a half of the century. He has joined. The first celebrity that turned 50 this year was Morris Chestnut, David Yost, a.k.a. Billy, the Blue Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Kalita Smith, a.k.a. Unwanda from the Bernie Mac Show, the RZA of Wu-Tang, former bad boy artist Black Rob, Carl Anthony Payne II, a.k.a. Cole from Martin. Tashina Arnold, a.k.a. Pam from Martin. We have a lot of celebrities that's turning 50 this year. Sean Puffy Combs will be 50 in November. Jay-Z will be 50 in December. And now I can't believe Triple H is in that same boat. Although I miss the old Triple H from the Attitude Era. That's when Triple H was in his prime. He was also still in his prime in the Ruthless Aggression Era. And I miss Triple H back when he used to have hair. He probably shaved his head. I forgot why did he shaved his head. Probably to become the executive vice president of talent, live events, and creative for WWE since 2013. 
and he's also the founder and the senior producer of NXT. Man, Triple H being 50. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to see some of your guys' thoughts in the comments below. What are your thoughts about Triple H being 50? Me, Triple H is getting old. And his recent match was at WrestleMania against Batista in which Batista decided to retire from wrestling. The stipulation was if Triple H loses, he must retire from his wrestling career. But he won the match and he's still wrestling to this day. But I feel like Triple H needs to retire and just continue being the COO of the WWE. But with that being said, that's going to wrap up my rant celebrating Triple H's 50th birthday. Let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts about Triple H being 50 and what were your favorite matches of Triple H. It could be from the Attitude Era, Ruthless Aggression Era, or today's era of the WWE. Thumbs up if you liked this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Hit subscribe if you like the content. Click on the notification bell for the next video. And I will catch you on the next one. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Happy 50th birthday to the game Triple H. I am the game. And I'm that damn good.